Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWide. So in this video, I will show you how to fix this error if you are trying to run a media creation tool to upgrade your Windows 7 operating system to Windows 10 and you are getting this error and this error code. In this video, I will show you how to fix this issue completely. So in this video, I will show you another method to fix this issue completely. So first, I will show you an article of Microsoft website update that enables you to upgrade from windows 7 to later version of windows okay i will put the this article link in description box and here you can see so you have two method to fix this error of media creation tool first update your windows 7 okay and the second method is download and install the update from microsoft website manually okay so before proceed you can see the pre-request you must install service pack 1 for windows 7 okay so first i will show you my properties uh, my windows properties so as you can see i am using windows 7 professional and i am using 32 bit of operating system okay and my window is currently activated so I'm using a 32 bit of operating system so let's start first I will download service pack 1 for my Windows 7 operating system after that I will try to update my Windows 7 okay so let's start first uh, download the service pack 1 click on this URL scroll down and you can see the download link install windows 7 service pack 1 and scroll down you can see this update is available for 32 bit and 64 bit both okay this x86 means this update is for 32 bit of operating system you can see okay so scroll down and then click on this URL so here you can see this update is for 32 bit and 64 bit both and you can see the first URL is for 64 bit of operating system and second URL is for 32 bit of operating system okay so I will download as per my system bit so i'm using 32 bit of operating system so i will use the second url so I click on the download option so here you can see you have two urls so right click on the first url then click on save link as then click on save and here you can see the download has been started the size is 538 MB so wait for a few minutes now it's done now right click on the second URL then click on save link as then click on save so you can see both the updates are downloaded now open the download folder and install both the updates So you can see these are the two updates I will install each update click on next so as you can see Windows 7 service pack 1 is already installed on my computer so I will close it okay now I will install the second update and you can see update window is already installed on your computer so both the updates are already installed on my computer so this is how you can download or install Windows 7 service pack 1 so I already have both the updates on my computer so now move on to a next step 
so pre request is already installed on my computer service pack 1 so the next step is I have to update my Windows 7 this is my first method okay so I will try to update my Windows 7 go to control panel then click on Windows update and here you can see check for update for your computer then click on check for update so in my case I am able to download Windows update easily without any error but if you find any kind of error or any kind of issue while updating your Windows 7 I will show you another method to download and install Windows update manually so I will cut this window okay I will open the article again so as you can see I have another method to download Windows 7 update manually so this update is available for 32 bit and 64 bit both so you can download and install as per your Windows operating system if you are unable to update your Windows 7 and you are getting any kind of error or you are unable to install the updates we have the method number 2 to download windows update manually ok so I am using a 32 bit of operating system so I will use this option this option is for 32 bit so click on the download package now or if you are using the 64 bit operating system then use this URL to download the update for 64 bit operating system so I will use the first URL Here you can see the update name then click on download and you can see download has been done open the download folder and this is the update double click on it to install the update do you want to install the following update yes installation complete now close this window okay now restart your computer close all the tab then restart your computer so restart has been done so now you have to download and install one more software from internet so I will show you this is the another article of Microsoft and in this article you can see that these two protocol are by default disabled on Windows 7 so with the help of uh, this software we can enable these two protocols so the software name is easy fix scroll down and you can see the software easy fix click on this URL okay now this is the easy fix software now click here to download and you can see the download has been done now open the download folder and you can see this is Microsoft easy fix install this software I agree then click on next click on yes click on close and cut this window cut this browser as well I will try to run media creation tool again so here you can see the media creation tool is now working fine without any error so I will summarize all the step again so your first step is you have to download and install Windows 7 service pack 1 as per your operating system bit for example 32 bit or 64 bit okay download as per your operating system bit 
and your second step is try to update your windows 7 okay if you are getting any kind of error or you are unable to update your windows 7 then download the windows update manually okay and your third step is download and install easy fix software and then try to run media creation tool again so these are the three steps and i will put all the download link in description box so now click on accept and now you can easily upgrade your windows 7 to windows 10 and you can also download windows 7 iso image as well i will show you how to download if you want to download windows 7 iso image i will show you the steps now you can see the first option is upgrade this pc now and the second option is uh, you can download the windows 10 iso image with this option so i will choose this option then click on next untick this option and here you can see choose the language windows 10 and you can also choose the operating system bit as per your requirement okay then click on next so here you can see the two option the first option is usb flash drive so if you want to create a bootable pen drive then use this first option and the pen drive needs to be at least 8 gb of space okay a free space of 8 gb and if you want to download the iso image of windows 10 then choose this option iso file then click on next so the file size is around uh, 4 to 5 gb so this is how you can fix the media creation tool error on windows 7 and i will put all the download link in description box all the steps in description box so thank you thanks for watching tech have a nice day